All right, we're live. We're going to look at some more FST edge cases today. Last time we did this about a week ago, we looked at some good cases, we looked at some bad cases. This time is going to be no different. So let's get started. Tesla FST 13.2.2 tries to go around a stop school bus with the stop lights on. Now, a lot of people in the comments of this video are feeling like he disengaged too early. But if you check out the screen um, in the visualization, you can see that FSD plans to actually go around the bus all the way until the car gets pretty close to the bus. And so then we got some contacts from, I believe his name is pronounced Hiren. He said, I've had plenty of times 13.2.2 stop for a school bus. This was one time it didn't. I had been following this bus for some time. The left turn signal, the double yellow line, and the blue tentacle projecting it wanted to go around. Did not give me the confidence, so I disengaged. I've definitely been noticing that FSD is quite aggressive, and honestly, in most cases, that's what you want as a tester. As someone sitting behind a wheel, you want your, your car to get you to where you have to go. You just don't want it to get you a ticket. But I also want you guys to keep in mind that while it might get you some tickets, it's not gonna do anything that puts you in danger. That's something that I've noticed. It might break the law, but it's not gonna drive you into oncoming traffic where there's other cars coming straight at you. Here, FSD 13 handles these blinking yellow lights really well. The driver said that ever since he got FSD 13, it seems to be doing a much improved job of not slamming on the brakes for blinking yellow lights. So that's a huge upgrade. Here, 13.2.2.1 pulls over for an ambulance before any of the other human drivers on the road here do. As you guys saw in last week's video, and you'll see multiple times in this video, 13.2.2 is doing exceptionally well with emergency vehicles. Here's another example where FSD has a green light and it stops for this fire truck. Of course, FSD would have stopped for any vehicle that's running a red light. In this case, it just happened to be a cyber or a fire truck. And here's another example. FSD gets two lanes over to stop for this emergency vehicle. And here's a fantastic U-turn from 13.2.2. Watch how it sort of drives forward on the road to get to a point where there's a street that can make the likelihood of a successful U-turn uh, more likely. This is really, really impressive right here. There's also going to be a couple of cool scenarios in this uh, video where people who are driving their cars manually wish that they had FSD on. Here's a case where Pico's finance wished that he had FSD on as it would have probably kept him from getting sideswiped as Tesla FSD has eyes in the back of its head and it could have avoided it. And here's another case. This Tesla owner was not using FSD and could have been killed here. Somebody makes a left turn right in front of him as he's going through an intersection. You can see that he's probably not the best driver because he could have probably just hit the brakes in this scenario. Nonetheless, he says should have been using that FSD trial. And Lewis posted this highway clip of FSD getting five lanes over to take the highway exit. This is good to see because end to end only just got added to highway driving recently. So it's really nice to see it uh, basically maneuver the highway so smoothly. And here's another emergency vehicle case that I found interesting because the driver noted, and you can actually hear it in the audio of the clip, that the ambulance did not have its sirens activated, meaning it wasn't making that noise, like the Doppler effect. So FSD actually pulled over just because of the flashing lights. So this was an encouraging clip. Now you're gonna see in this dash cam clip, a cyber truck with FSD engaged. So the driver says, navigate this construction zone pretty flawlessly now keep in mind with these dash cam clips tesla just made an update where tesla owners can um, go on their phone and download something that happened recently in their tesla so when you see these dash cam clips they all look like this which suggests that it is from a tesla and now we're just taking the driver's word for it that fsd was engaged and here is an example of one of those cases we have our friend felix here who is claiming that FSD 13.2.2 turns into a one-way street in Manhattan going the wrong direction. Now, he says his destination was only a couple hundred feet down this road, but he also said that the navigation was not planning on going down this one-way street. It sort of just made an impulsive decision at the last second. People say this can be because you're almost at your destination and so FSD starts looking for parking and the reason it went down that street, whether it felt like it was at its destination or not, we still want to get to the place where FSD can read signs so it can see that this is a one-way street going the other direction. 
you shouldn't go down the street going in that direction. Again, this is just another one of those cases where um, we don't have a GoPro inside the Tesla. This guy is using his dash cam to record this. He's telling us with FSD. Whenever I repost these, I normally go to the account and give it a quick vet. I want to see maybe if they have any intent behind what they are posting. And normally when I run into a problem like this, I try to find a lot of cases so that I can present multiple cases of evidence because it strengthens the argument that this is a true problem. I'll show you guys one of the threads I've made where Tesla is having a problem where it's turning left into the oncoming lane. I've got about eight cases that I'll show you now. So case number one, Cyberlex says his Cybertruck with FSD engaged turned into the oncoming traffic lane. I've noticed it's done this several times and I'm on the latest V13 software update. Case number two, I'm really enjoying my Tesla FSD on my Model 3, but it, be, it can be a bit tricky to use in the rain. So here's what happened. After the stop sign, the car started driving towards oncoming traffic. I quickly took over and disengaged FSD. Case number three, this is in my hometown of Vancouver. Ali says it turned left to the opposite lane. He said he's seen other people reporting a similar thing. Case number four, um, 14.2.2 he says i think it's a typo for 13.2.2 um, another case where it drives into the oncoming lane oh my bad i was thinking that this this uh thread had eight cases but i was that's for my red light thread um there's actually one more case of this where it turns left into the oncoming lane and the oncoming lane happens to be a train track so i'll find that one right now and play it for you guys yeah so the autopilot is engaged um waiting for the left turn and uh i'm on uh, the latest V13.2, I guess. Um, but you're gonna see something crazy. Oh, here we go. So it turns green and it's making the turn, but it fucking turns into the train lane, right? <laughs> is it is it called train lane? I don't, yeah, it's just fucking crazy. I got nowhere to go. And you can tell from behind uh, trying to zoom like the train's right here the train's fucking right here i got nowhere to go and it's right light and at this moment i just disengaged the autopilot don't know where to go i think uh i have to run a, a right light to get out of it so i'm just waiting for all these pedestrians right waiting for all these pedestrians to get out and i and i did that so this is obviously a problem that needs to be addressed. Uh, luckily, my thread is it's got 28,000 views, so it is getting some attention. I'm sure um, Tesla's AI team is on it. I th hopefully, this is erased in the next iteration. What I'm really excited about, and, and the reason that I'm doing this, is like I can't wait for the next iteration to come out, and I can actually see if these clips continue to show up. If they get completely wiped. I mean, the rate of progress is going to be so fast if Tesla can find these problems and erase them because V13, in terms of its smoothness and its confidence, I can tell how excited people are. And, and because these cases are so rare, you don't want people to get so excited and so comfortable in their vehicles. And then when something happens like this, they're not prepared and they might get a ticket. So um, that's the reason that I'm doing this. And here's a fun clip I found that I wanted to see what you guys think. Do you think FSD could have avoided this massive pipe basically dragging this car across the intersection? Do you think Tesla's cameras could have seen up that high to actually avoid this? Let me know. And here's another mistake made on 13.2.2.1. Tesla's in the left turn lane, drives straight through the intersection and then is driving in sort of this yellow marker area. What I find interesting about this clip is a few things. Number one, you know, nobody's in danger. Number two, the human driver sort of in front of the Tesla does pretty much exactly the same thing, but they actually do something illegal as well. And they change lanes in the middle of the intersection. And then um, the third thing to remind you is like, even though nobody's at harm here, you still have that um, chance of getting a ticket. So you don't want FSD to be making these kinds of decisions. You want to be able to enjoy the ride. I made a thread because I was noticing a lot of V13 users are really happy with how it's driving in the fog. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cases of FSD users taking the time to say, hey, 
V13 is driving like super confidently in the fog. The cameras can see everything. Hardware 4 is that big upgrade. Um, and so it's nice to see that everybody's excited about this. This clip, I've made possum clips in the past, but the reason I posted this one is because I don't know how the car saw this possum. It was sort of sitting in the dark in the middle of the road. You have to really zoom in and squint to see it on this video. Yet FSD picks it up and brakes to let it get off to the side. I also noticed a contrast in my research between the behavior of Waymo and the behavior of Tesla. This journalist says that his street in San Francisco is full of Waymos, but they're not stopping at the crosswalk for him. He says he's gotten a video of it happening over a dozen times where they're not very courteous for people trying to cross the road. The Waymos just bust right through. And then I attach a video of contrasting FSD where 13.2.2 gently yields to a runner. Um, Tesla FSD just seems a lot more courteous and it's confident when it has to be. <laughs> Another contrast between Waymo and Tesla is a lot of you probably saw that Waymo just barrel through a self-driving fridge in San Francisco. The next day I find this video, Tesla stopping, letting the self-driving fridge cross the road and the Tesla carries on. I said, I guess we're in the future now. I mean, FSD is even courteous for other cars. 13.2.2 has a red light ahead, so it doesn't need to get anywhere. And it leaves space for this oncoming vehicle to make a left turn. Um, very polite, very courteous. And eventually, eventually we'll get to the point where you can just sit and spend that extra time with your dog in the driver's seat. But for now, I don't recommend this. I suggest you continue to supervise your vehicles until we get to this point. It is making some really smart decisions though. This Uber driver meets another car in a very tight alley and you can see FSD reverse, make space for the other car to exit and Tesla FSD carries on. Thirteen point two point two also comes to a complete stop at an intersection during a power outage here. However, I am I am hearing from testers that this is not new to V thirteen. Now, this clip was absolutely nuts. This is probably the craziest clip I have found in the past week, and it looks like it was picked up by some news source. And the driver's name was Julio. I thought at first um, the news was named Julio, and I was trying to find the news before I reposted it, and I couldn't find it. So. I waited for a while until I figured out that the, the driver's name was Julio because I didn't have the audio working. I'll play you guys the clip right now. The trucker tried swerving away from the car, but he overcorrected and lost control. Right then, Julio's Tesla began sounding the alarm while FSD did its best to avoid the out of control semi which was now veering into Julio's lane. FSD steered as far to the left as possible, barely missing the median barrier. Julio hit the juice pedal and used his dual motors to accelerate away from the semi, which had managed to drag the white car across the highway and into the barrier. Julio and his passengers were fine and his Tesla was completely untouched. Sadly, the same can't be said for the vehicles behind. But again, this is just one of those mind bending clips where all we have is the dash cam footage and the driver's word for it. Clearly um, FSD or the the driver hit the accelerator here and busted past um, the impending accident. Um, I think that accelerating was the best mathematical play at that point. So I sure hope this was FSD and that's what the driver says. One, one argument you could make about this is if you were the driver and you said, I did this, you would get a lot more props and people would be like, that's so cool. You dodged that. But no, this guy said FSD did it, not me. So, for that reason, I kind of believe this guy. And as we saw in that clip earlier where that guy got into an accident by hitting that pole, in these high stress situations, we don't act the best sometimes. So FSD chose the best case there. And here 13.2.2.1 stops before the fire hall, like do not enter marker. Um, this is a really good thing that FSD does. You don't want stupid robo taxis not stopping for emergency vehicles and blocking fire trucks. This is how you get regulated faster. Here a U-Haul comes into Tesla's lane and it just smoothly avoids it. Another case where people might panic. So here's my thread about V13's problem with red lights. I've collected about eight cases so far. Here's the first one. He says the self-driving system is giving him the creeps because of how good it is. But then he says this happens. 
I only have a dash cam snapshot of the situation, but essentially it started going while we still had a red light and I had to push the brakes. Of course, nothing bad ever happens, but like, and it might have stopped on its own again, but no question that it needs fixing. And a lot of drivers are saying they have similar experiences. Uh, this guy here, he says, um, unfortunately, I experienced it running a red light. I tried overanalyzing the environment. And the only thing is I can deduce is that maybe the car approaching from behind at a particular speed may have influenced the car to move forward. Then we get another one. He says, something is up. I mean, mine would have ran a red light today going 67 miles per hour. I've been on FSD for four years, he said. And then Void Trader says, I had mine try to run a red light. It's been amazing 99% of the time. And this is the only time I've seen this so far. And you can see that these guys are tagging all the big beta testers, like Holmar's blog, AI driver, Dirty Tesla. He's tagging Ashok. These guys are only bringing this up because they care and they want it to get fixed. And here we've got Jay saying, FSD attempting to run a red light. You will see FSD approach and stop, wait, and then it jumps when the oncoming side gets the left arrow. People are not actually seeing to see if it continues because they're disengaging, but I don't think people necessarily want to find out. Don't think it would drive into oncoming cars. It's probably just a little jerk. This person says it just ran a red light, clearly red for a second before it crossed the intersection. I haven't actually seen this. This is after a yellow and then it goes red and it still runs it. Jay posts another red light instance. Um, he says traveling in the left hand turn lane, the signal is green and changes yellow. You can see the light turn red as I hit the brakes. These gaffes seem both subtle and solvable. And I look forward to updates from Jay. I saw this post from the Tesla hillbilly and I'm wondering if this could be a potential problem for the red lights. He says, I'm curious if this is related to the issue people have been having with red lights. I noticed at the light that the signal on the right kept rotating back and forth and I heard the car give the chime for green light when this started happening. I was not using FSD at this moment, so I don't know if the car would have started driving had there been no cars crossing my path. It happened a second time at the next intersection where I heard the chime indicating the light was green, but it was for the traffic signal to the left of me at the intersection. So maybe this is what's causing the issue and hopefully this all gets resolved in the next iteration. Sorry guys, my camera died. So just don't be discouraged. Tesla AI, and Tesla and Elon, they all want this to happen. They all want it to work. They're gonna keep working at it. Um, we just wanna separate the signal from the noise. I want to bring light to these cases so that they can be improved upon and so that we as investors know exactly what is going on with this software. Um, I just want my account to be sort of a hive mind for FSD. And um, it's so hard to know when you're, just, uh, when you're just driving your own car and you have such a limited sample size. I want people to see the way that FSD is handling every case. Even when there's hundreds of dogs running around your Tesla, and horseback riders. How is FSD gonna handle that? We wanna see everything. So hope you guys enjoy and talk to you later.